thing they talk about is daily compounding. Count compounding. Um, this happens a lot. You not a lot of like savings accounts where you're earning interest. Not a lot of those are compounded daily. But a lot of times, things that you owe money for, like loans, they may be compounded daily. Um, banks very seldom compound things daily when you're earning money. But when they're earning money, they're more than happy to do that. Just because the more often you compound, the more money, the more interest this is made. Okay? Um, they have tables um, to help with that. Uh, we'll do some calculations using tables and some calculations using um, just by hand. So here are the two formulas, and these are straight out of your lesson that you go through as you're going through the... Okay. <clears throat> I'll show you what a table looks like. Okay, so here is a compounding daily table. I know it's daily because it's labeled right here. It says compounded daily, 365 times a year. So rather than having to use the formula for interest, they just put in a table what you would multiply by to find out your new amount. Okay, so on day 21, if you take the amount you invested and multiply it by 1.0316, that will tell you how much is in the account. Okay, on day 22, if you multiply by 1.0031, that will tell you how much is in the account. Okay, so here's a question about Mary Barkley. She deposited $1,000 in a savings account, and it pays 5.5% interest. It's compounded daily, and they show us, again, everything we need to know in the table down here. It says, on June 23rd, how much interest has she earned? Okay, so she puts it in on June 1st, okay? So day one would be June 2nd, okay? And that's because you, you don't earn interest the first day. The interest isn't accrued until the beginning of the second day. It's been in there a full day. So, and then day two would be June 3rd. And day three would be June 4th. Okay. It wants to know um, what it's going to be on June 23rd. Okay, so what day, if we continue like this, what day will we be on? Because we need to know what day that would be. June 23rd would be what day? Good. It would be the 22nd day. Okay, so notice these are all one behind because we started on the 1st and had to wait one full day. So the days are one behind. So good. It would be the 22nd day. So on the 22nd day, it tells us to multiply by 1.00331. We put in $1,000. We multiply that by 1.00331, and that will tell us how much is in the account on the 22nd day, which happens to be June 23rd. Okay, good. All right, are there any questions on this one so far? I know it's a little bit different than what you've been doing. <laughs> okay, so she'll, that, that tells us on the 22nd second day she'll have $1,003.31. The question wants to know how much interest has she earned? So she started with $1,000, and now she has $1,003.31. How much interest did she make? Basically, how much extra money does she have that she, that she didn't have when she put it in? So if we subtract the $1,000 that she had originally, we'll find out what the change was or how much money she has made in interest. Very good. So the answer would be three dollars and thirty-one cents. Awesome. Okay, any questions? 